All right. So, you know, we've had a lot of universal and planetary uh, changes here lately. You know, uh, the yesterday, or I believe it's yesterday, the full moon in, in uh, Libra. Libra's about relationships, right? And Libra, uh, let's see, which planets are in retrograde? So there's Mercury, there's Venus, and Venus is, Venus is the twin flame of Earth, which is interesting. And Venus is the ruling planet of Libra. So a lot of moving parts here. Jupiter, I believe, too, is, is going into retrograde. And, of course, we're in the Aries sun right now. So we have a lot of fire and passion. Then Libra's balancing out that fire and passion. All right. Let's take a look at your cards, though, Taurus. And let's see what's going on with you. In your environment, you have the Queen of Swords. It's called the Queen of Athemis in this particular deck, but it is the same as the Queen of Swords, and this would be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising. They're in your environment, and this Queen normally indicates someone who's very intellectual. Well, again, um, an air sign, and you know, I was just talking about Libra. So this could be a Libra in your life that's very much... Um, in your life. <laughs> or, you know, it can be Gemini or Aquarius too. So, you know, don't discount those two. These people cards are more challenging because they are uh, the queens, kings, and pages and knights are different to be different people. So I'm just saying they're in your environment. I feel like they have been in your environment before recently, or they've been in your spread recently. Let me know if they have. This is someone who makes quick decisions, someone who's very firm in their decisions. They're very tactical oriented, and I'm meaning that in a way of um, planning, purposeful planning. They have a keen wit. So whoever this is, it can be a man as well. So think about who this could be in your environment, in your first, it'd be like the first house if you're looking at your astrological, um, at your chart. Who is in your first house that's an air sign that is, is, um, in your face right now, or not maybe not in your face, but at least they are part of your big part of your life. And I'm looking at the next card, which is the challenge, and the challenge is the nine of wands. And the nine of wands usually represents someone who's very safe and secure in their job, and they're doing a job well done, but for some reason they feel a little bit um, guarded. So this could be the challenges that you even though you are safe where you are, you're having to um, feel like you need to protect your own or keep some things silent from your co-partners. Um, not divulge all. Stand your ground. It could be that this person supports you or maybe it's about them. I feel like they're more of a supportive type person, but let me know in the comments. So okay, you're um, you're earning money. You you're paying your bills. You're you know you're being acknowledged. Here's the fairies, but something about you, and maybe you're trying to you know you just want to hold on to the job, or you want to hold on to your house, the security. You're feeling the need for security. Nothing wrong with that. I'll pull some clarification cards in a moment. So the unexpected is the nine of pentacles. You have two nine cards here, Taurus. And nine is about completion. It's about unconditional love and compassion. So I feel like staying grounded as you are, as of earth sign. I feel like staying in your... Um, like, you know, he has his hands on his hips. So he's... He's standing his ground, right? 
he's done well and he's proud of it and he feels accomplished. So the unexpected could be that, you know, you're either starting to give yourself a, a break or you're starting to feel more relaxed with money, with retirement, um, with your bottom line, where you are every month, where, where, where you're going to move. I keep getting retirement for some of you. So some of you are already putting your 401k or maybe you're getting ready to um, go into, you know, the lazy, hazy days of summer, you know, which is the outcome card is the sun card. But, you know, actually, this card is not about being lazy. This is a major arcana card. It's the number 19 and it's the sun. And the sun comes out after a job well done. You have worked. Here's the wagon. It's setting down now, sitting down. It's done its work. The sun is coming out. So these are really some pretty positive cards, especially in the unexpected and the outcome. I feel like you're going to feel hope and optimism around the end of the month. You're going to relax and, and realize that you do have everything you need. And maybe you don't have to be so guarded. And that you're going to feel safe and secure with your money. And, and accomplished. This is an awesome card to come up for the outcome. I, I'm just saying. The Sun card is not, if not the most positive, it's one of the most positive in the deck. And as you can see, you know, the... The thatched roof with the golden light on it. The bird has its wings expanded. I always love the sunflowers. To me, that means positivity and hope. You have two birds here. Birds usually mean higher perspective, a better perspective, better viewpoint. It could be that this person's offering you that. And towards the end, you know, you're really getting it. And the Fool card, or as the Greensman, as this deck calls it. And the Fool, of course, is the first card of the Major Arcana. It's actually, well, it starts with zero, but it is the, the first card that comes out in the Major Arcana. And the Fool is the na naive boy who's going on his journey. He's ready for exploration. He's ready for adventure. He's ready to see new light. So a little bit of playfulness, Taurus. A little bit of, you know, having fun, being open, going to a musical event, um, a concert, going to see um, a new, new statue. I don't know why I'm getting statues. Or new monuments or places you've never seen before and really taking in the, the, the sights, the feels, the sound. And when I think of monuments, of course, I think of any of the... Um, the places where there have been wars. So, you know, anywhere in the U.S. or Europe, you know, sometimes we can actually feel when we go to those places, we can feel what all happened. And if you're one of those people that are very empathic, then you may not want to do that. But it also may remind you of, you know, how lucky you are to have the life that you do, right? One card fell on the floor. So, excuse me while I pick it up. It is the Two of Pentacles. Well, the Two of Pentacles obviously means that you are juggling finances. You do feel like you've been juggling some things, whether it's work, home, children, spouse, partner. And you're ready for a resolve, but you know what? You have one foot on the ground, but the other is in the air. So there's still some... Um, news, I'm here, that news that you're waiting for to make a final decision. And this could be about a move, building a new home. Interesting, the Tower card comes up and then the Wheel of Fortune comes up. Wow, okay, so that's pretty amazing card. So the Tower card, of course, is about what? Tower is an unexpected event that may shock you, may surprise you, but it it lets restrictions go. Self 
imposed restrictions or walls that you've built up to make room for new opportunities. So sometimes this can mean um, some people, and I'm not saying this is going to happen to you. Actually, I, I don't. I'm just giving you examples. But some people lose their job in order to find another one that pays better, um, gives them more opportunity, opportunity, possibly more travel if they're into that. But, you know, I said there's enlightenment, there's hope, because then the Wheel of Fortune comes up. So the tide turns in your favor. And, you know, the planets align in your favor. This is after, you know, the wheel turns. Are, the wheels of life turn in many different directions, don't they? I mean, it's a, the life is a cycle. We're up, we're down, we're even, or at least we feel balanced. And then it, things happen and we, we learn and we grow. That's the cycle of life. <coughs> Excuse me. Had a little bit of a call for pollen in the air today. So I'm feeling like, you know, this is the, the wheel of fortune. I set it down on the sun. Again, this is not like you've been sitting around on your laurels and you've just not been doing anything. You've been doing some hard work. And you're ready to grow and expand. And sometimes when we grow and expand, we have to experience the lull. Or the more than lull, we have to experience change. And so people don't like change. A lot of people, you know, we get into our routines. And, and if everything's okay with that routine, then that's, that's what we like. That's that's what we feed on, but sometimes the universe is like, no, uh-uh. We're going to hold your hand and take you into a different environment so that you can grow and and do better. That you can uh, feel more successful in whatever area of life, whether it's your home and your your relationships your finances. Okay, Taurus, so I like how the spread came out. Let me know if uh, with this tower card that came, any unexpected events, if that comes up for you. That may have been in the past, too. Maybe you've experienced events recently that have caused your life to turn around. Again, whether it's relationships or a job, and you're starting to see that, you know what, there's light, there's light, there's hope, there's optimism, there's joy in everyday living, okay? I'm just saying this spread is pretty indicative of that. So we have numerologically uh, 1 and 9 is 10, 19 and 19, interesting. Sun card is 19, is 38, 3 and 8 is 11. 11 in numerology is service of letting your light shine. You know, when I talk about 11 life paths, or if you're born on the 11th or the 29th, or anything that adds up to 11 when you deduce it to a, you know to two digits, 38, you know, which I just got a minute ago, um, then, you know, you're like a lighthouse and you, you shine the lights for the boats to come in. So you shine your essence, you shine your service, you give service to others. And when you give service to others, others are attracted to you or they are um, appreciative of you and they acknowledge you. And that feels very grounding for me, for you. All right. Okay. Well, and, um, yeah, in the Major Arcana cards, the number 11 is the same as the, drum roll, let me remember what it is, I'm actually <laughs> looking it up. Okay, yeah, it's the Justice card. So there's fairness and there's balance in all that's going on in your life, Taurus. There really is. The Justice card has usually has the Libra scales on it. And Libra, of course, we've just had the full moon in Libra, is about balance. It's about using your feminine intuition, objectivity, 
being objective and not um, getting in the middle of an entanglement or something that you, you know, sometimes politics at work, that can be, that can be more than what we need sometimes. Or, or any, you know, work or friends or family, you know, sometimes family can get involved to involved with other people's business or in their own business. Each other's business is what I'm trying to say. But the, the justice card is about truth prevails. And I think that's what the universe is wanting you to know, that the, the truth of fairness always comes out in the end.